We have about 800 pupils in the school, divided between adults doing FETAC courses and our traditional second level students. Traditionally we would have had just a standard 7 meg, but we had huge limitations with that because with more exams going um, internet based, like for example the ECDL, that you'd see notices going up in the staff room, don't use the internet between 10 and 11 today because there's an ECDL exam going on. But once that changeover took place, it was like um, uh, we had a brand new computer network. Like it's really allowed us to kind of plan for IT. Like we had three computer rooms, we now have five computer rooms. Last year we signed up to the eFuture programme, which is a new programme to promote IT in schools. This year, Janet Allen was doing animation with the students and she was doing it through a website, which is really kind of a Java rich website. Without the 100 megs, she would not have been able to do that. So she was able to actually get the students to create an animation. I've spoken to the principal about the possibility of setting up a school YouTube channel. So the likes of those animations I mentioned, we could actually put those up on YouTube to really kind of show them off to the world. I'm using Moodle with my adult students at the moment and I'm providing all of their resources through Moodle. And I'm encouraging, we're trying to do um, save on paper in the school here and printing costs. So I am encouraging other adult teachers to start doing the same thing as well through our Moodle system. This is our first year of really running ePortal. It's giving teachers access to student records and to be able to kind of enter subject results and stuff like that in their classrooms or at home. We also use an on shus system, which is a student registration system. And when they come in in the morning, they scan in. So it allows the school now to keep track of a student's attendance in a much easier way because it's something that Pauline Duffy, our principal, she's very pro-IT and she kind of wants these systems in and working. So we have computer in every classroom with interactive whiteboards in most rooms. It's given teachers more scope or more, more options or more flexibility and the students summed it up best. They said, what, did we do anything with the computers? Because the computers were much faster. Because virtually everything they do in the computer rooms tends to be internet based anyway. So even our kids noticed the changeover when that took place.